At a cost of more than a billion dollars and after billions of kilometers, this probe's real journey has only just begun. And for that, we turn to the national science correspondent, Bob McDonald. So billions and billions, the comet contains material that's billions of years old. What are they hoping to find? Well, Wendy, what they're hoping to find is our own origins because comets are the leftover ingredient from a huge cloud that formed all of the planets, including the Earth and the Sun, but they were on the outside edge of that cloud, so they didn't really get involved in that whole process. So they've been unchanged for those billions of years. And they have the original ingredients that made us unchanged. And there's a theory that comets carry organic compounds, which are the chemicals that you and I are made of, the chemicals of life. And there's also an idea idea that perhaps comets brought water and the ingredients of life to the Earth. Well, now that we're on the surface, we can answer those questions directly by sampling the comet, finding out what it's really made of, and maybe answering some questions about where we came from. But now, of course, the comet's heading closer to the sun. What happens to the probe? Well, in addition to all this interesting chemistry, it's going to watch the comet change because as it gets closer to the sun, it's going to lose its ice. It's going to snow upwards. The ice is going to vaporize and start bursting out of the ground. The comet is going to change its shape. Some people are even worried that it might break in two because it's built of these two lobes with a thin neck in the middle and it might actually separate. Imagine watching a world come apart from the surface. That, to me, is the most exciting part, is what we don't know because we've never done this before, never watched a comet change, so I think there are some surprises in the waiting. Thanks so much, Bob. Okay, Wendy. Bob McDonald.